third grade math, lesson 9.3, we're going to compare fractions with the same numerator. We can compare fractions that have the same numerator by looking at their denominators and comparing the size of their pieces. And the fraction with the greater denominator has smaller pieces. The whole is divided into more pieces. That means they're smaller. The fraction with the smaller denominator has larger pieces. The whole is divided into less pieces. Here we have fourths. We have a whole circle that's split into fourths. And one-fourth, one of the pieces, would be greater than one-eighth. This whole circle is split or divided into eight pieces. One little piece, one-eighth, is not as large. One-fourth is greater than one-eighth. This is a lower number for the denominator, so it's greater than this one. Fourths are divided into less pieces than eighths. Here we have a circle that's split into four pieces, and we have four fourths. We have all four of the pieces. It has the same numerator as this fraction. We have four eighths. This circle was split into eight pieces, and we only have four of them. We can see that this circle is, has much more than this one, doesn't it? This is only these few pieces. It's not a whole circle like this one. Four-fourths is greater than four-eighths. This has the lower denominator. When they have the same numerator, the one with the lower denominator is the larger fraction. Emma is at a pizza restaurant. Her friends are sitting at two different tables. She can sit at a table with five friends, or she can sit at a table with seven friends. The same size pizza is shared equally at each table. That means each table has the same size pizza as the other table. So which table should she sit at to get more pizza? We need to include Emma to find the fraction that the pieces will be cut into. At table A, there are five friends. If we add Emma, to the five friends, we're going to have six people. That means the pizza is going to get cut into six slices, and Emma will get one six. At table B, there's seven friends. We add Emma. That means there's eight people. So Emma will get one eighth. This pizza is cut into eight slices, so everyone at the table will get a slice. One six is a larger piece than one eighth. It, they have the same numerator, but this has a lower number for a denominator. This was cut into less pieces. That's the larger slice. That's the pizza that she would have more. So which slice of pizza is larger? One six is greater than one eighth. It was cut into fewer pieces, so each piece was larger. And the pizza cut into six slices has larger pieces than the pizza cut into eight slices. If she sits at the table with this pizza, she'll have a larger piece. She'll get more. The more pieces a whole is divided into, the smaller each piece will be. This pizza is cut into fourths. Divided into fourths, each slice is larger than if it was divided into six. This is divided into six pieces. Each slice is one six. When it's divided into six, each slice is smaller. The fewer pieces a whole is divided into, the larger each piece will be. We can use fraction strips to compare fractions that have the same numerator. On Saturday, Bob walked his dog two six mile. On Sunday, he walked his dog two fourths mile. On which day did Bob walk his dog farther? Well, on Saturday, he walked two six. On Sunday, he walked two fourths. This means we have two of six parts. So here's a whole six six. We need to have two six. So we can take these away. That's how far he walked on Saturday. On Sunday, he walked two fourths. Here we have four fourths. We need two fourths, so let's take two of them away. That means on Sunday, he walked this distance. And we can see that two-fourths is a much further distance than two-sixths. Two-sixths is less than two-fourths. 
So Bob walked his dog farther on Sunday. They have the same numerator, but because this one has a lower number for a denominator, it's the larger fraction. We can look at one-fourth and see how long it is compared to the one-sixth. This hole was split into four pieces. This hole was split into six pieces, so each of these pieces are smaller. Now be careful, when we compare fractions with the same numerator, we need to make sure the symbol shows that the fraction with the fewer pieces, with the lower denominator of the whole, is the greater fraction. We can use the denominators to compare these fractions and write less than, greater than, or we can put an equal sign symbol between them. We have one-fifth and one-ninth. They're both unit fractions. They both have a one as a numerator, don't they? We look at the denominator, and a 5 is a much lower number than a 9. That means this hole was split into 5 pieces, this hole was split into 9 pieces. That means each of these pieces are larger. 1 fifth is greater than 1 ninth. For this one, they have the same numerator 3. We look at the denominator, and a 4 is a much lower number than a 6. This is a larger number, so 3 6 is less than three-fourths. We have four-sevenths and four-eighths. We have the same numerator. This has the lower number for the denominator, so that's the larger fraction. It was cut into fewer pieces. Four-sevenths is greater than four-eighths. For this one, they both have a two for a numerator, and look, they both have a three for a denominator. They are the same. That means we're going to use an equal sign because two-thirds is equal to two-thirds. But be careful with this. Two-thirds is equal to two-thirds if we're comparing the same size whole thing. I'll show you that in a minute. Here we have nine-ninths and nine-tenths. This thing, this whole thing, was split into nine parts, and we have all nine of them. That means we have the whole thing, don't we? We have the same numerator and denominator, so really that's equal to one whole. Nine-tenths, that means it was split into ten parts, and we only have nine of them. That's not a whole. Nine-ninths has the lower number for the denominator. Nine-ninths is greater than nine-tenths. Two-fifths and two-sixths, they both have the same numerator, two. This has the lower number denominator, so that's the larger fraction. Two-fifths is greater than two-sixths. So remember, when we're comparing fractions with the same numerator, we need to make sure that the symbol shows that the fraction with the fewer pieces of the whole is the greater fraction. This has fewer pieces, so it's the greater fraction. See? This has fewer pieces, it's the greater fraction. This has fewer pieces, this is the greater fraction. See? Bob has a slice of pizza that is one-sixth of his whole pizza. Dave has a slice of pizza that is one-fourth of his whole pizza. We know that because this is the smaller number, the lower number, that one-fourth would be a larger piece than one-sixth, wouldn't it? One-sixth would be less than one-fourth, but look, it says Dave's slice of pizza is smaller. Dave has the one-fourth. How could that be smaller? How could this be? Well, one-sixth can be larger than one-fourth if the whole pizzas are different sizes. That's why I was saying before to be careful when you're comparing fractions you have to be comparing the same size whole. Here's Bob's pizza. He has one-sixth of his pizza. Here's Dave's pizza. He has one-fourth. Well, this pizza is much smaller. He probably ordered an extra large one, and he probably ordered a small pizza. In this case, the one-sixth is greater than one-fourth because the whole pizza is greater. They have to be comparing the fractions of same size whole, okay? So look at it this way. We could say a half is greater than a half because half of a castle is much larger than half of a house. This is much more of a building than this little half of the house. When we compare fractions, it's important to know they represent the same size whole. We need to compare a castle to a castle or we need to compare a house to a house. These are not the same size whole. So we can't really do this because it's not fair, okay? So make sure they represent the same size whole. Otherwise, 
We could say a half is greater than a half because they're representing two different size objects. And keep in mind, when the fractions change places, the symbol will change direction. We have two-tenths and we have two-thirds. This has the lower number denominator, because the numerators are the same. We know that this is the larger fraction. So we've got our symbol with the big open part towards the bigger fraction. Two-tenths is less than two-thirds. If we switch the places of the fractions and put the two-thirds first, now the symbol is going to go this direction. Two-thirds is greater than two-tenths. We read it in the order of which one is on this side. Two-tenths is less than two-thirds and two-thirds is greater than two-tenths. So we can compare fractions with the same numerator, that same top number, by looking at the denominator. And whichever denominator is a lower number is the greater fraction. And be careful when you're comparing fractions. Make sure you're comparing the same size whole thing. You don't want to compare two different size pizzas like we did with Dave and Bob's pizza, okay? I'm really proud of you for watching these math videos. I hope you're doing well, and I'll see you next time. Bye.